If you said that the National Rifle Association, the NRA, has done more to prevent the passage of a federal law to license and control handguns than anyone else, you'd find almost no one would disagree with you, including the NRA itself. Thanks to you, the members and supporters of NRA, no national gun law has passed this year. This is Harlan Carter, vice president of the NRA and its former chief lobbyist in Washington. Pistol champ, unyielding, uncompromising, long a symbol of NRA resistance to anyone who would try to license, register, or outlaw handguns. My name is Jesus Juarez. I can work to this country because I can hardly work in Tijuana. I work here because I take care of my family who are there. Wetbacks from Mexico are taking to the rails. Here is a dramatic picture of an actual chase as the border guards nab a hitchhiking passenger in his attempt to make an illegal entry into the United States. Others are picked up after they cross the border on foot, but hundreds daily elude the guards with an estimated million odd illegal entrants scattered through the border states. The invaders from south of the border are keeping the U.S. patrol mighty busy. The National Rifle Association, commonly referred to as the NRA, is the oldest national organization of sportsmen in the United States. Organized in 1871, it is a non-profit corporation chartered by Congress for the purpose of educating the nation in marksmanship, which helps develop self-discipline, initiative, team spirit, and healthy minds.
ain't no start off. That's a rad shotgun just like yours. If you are some nigga, I don't see how y'all can be no better than us. You don't know the Constitution, right? Very well aware of the Constitution. You have no right to take my gun away from me. You bring the Constitution life. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls upon the American people in general and the black people in particular to take full note of the racist California legislature, which is now considering legislation aimed at keeping the black people disarmed and powerless at the very same time that racist police agencies throughout the country are intensifying the terror, brutality, murder, and repression of black people. No one wants to touch the legitimate hunter, but we've got to protect society from nuts with guns. When bands of armed people with loaded weapons can uh, uh, move about our streets intimidating and frightening citizens, then I think we should act and we intend to act. if the National Guard were overseas in a major war? Who then supports the police? Who then guards the doors of American homes from senseless savagery and pillaging? A national survey indicates that 27 million white Americans, representing 54% of the nation's homes, own guns. A majority of gun owners say they would use their guns to shoot other people in case of a riot. We are literally living in an era of gun lunacy. Attack Muggings, robbery, assaults, and even murder are just around the corner for all of us. I'm interested in a small handgun to put in a bedside table drawer. What do you want your gun for? I live in a very transitional neighborhood and I'm a little afraid living there alone and would like some form of protection. Well, you're not alone. We have quite a few people in your category that come in here. How old are you? 75. And do you carry a gun? Yes. Why? Protection. 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 What is your official title? Uh, I'm the executive director of the National right. Rifle Association's Institute for Legislative Action. <clears throat> Which means uh, chief uh, lobbyist. Uh, you could say that. Okay. Mr. Carter, is it your feeling that the gun lobby will prevail? I have a great deal of confidence that good sense will prevail, yes. 
good sense meaning your feelings, your opinion. <laughs> well, uh, I want to make sure we. Yes, yes. I, 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 I don't want to quibble about it. I strongly feel that we're right. I strongly feel that we shall win. Okay. A coalition of NRA members contend that the hundred year old organization is moving away from what they perceive to be its primary purpose defending citizens' rights to keep and bear arms. Gun control is a cop-out. It has no relevancy to crime in this country. The NRA is over one million strong in members, who are organized into almost 10,000 clubs across the country. And when they assemble an annual convention, they are bound by a sense of history. In no other country in the world have so many free men been permitted so many weapons in peacetime. The National Rifle Association convention in Cincinnati went into overtime last night, a stormy all-night session. When it was over, some dissident members had taken control of the 400,000 member organization. They were able to vote out the former leadership, which was suspected of having gone soft on the gun control issue. Harlan Carter was voted back in command. The vote gave warning to gun control advocates in Congress that the hardliners were back in charge of the NRA. The gun control debate does a great disservice to the cause of law enforcement. We ought to be debating, my friends, what to do with criminals instead of what to do with the property of people who commit no crime. The very essence of all of this is that you deprive a man of a liberty because he might abuse it. And I respectfully submit to you that if we can ever embark upon the principle that because a liberty might be abused, the government can restrict it, restrain it, or abolish it, ladies and gentlemen, you have lost everything. Salvador Pena, age 12, said that he, Ramon Cassiano, and two other youths had returned from the swimming pool on the evening of March 3rd. They encountered Harlan Carter. Pena said that Carter had a shotgun and attempted to march the three boys back to the Carter home. Ramon Cassiano took a knife from his belt and asked Carter, do you want to fight me? Carter, holding the gun towards Cassiano, asked, You think I won't use this? And fired. Cassiano bid his friends goodbye and then offered his hand to Carter, saying, You are my friend. Carter shoved his hand aside with the words, You are my friend nothing.
problem of crime is not legislatable. It actually isn't. We have uh, criminal abuse by men who have an evil intent somehow or another. They're bent upon robbery or even murder. And uh, in those cases, you have to deal with evil men. The problem is not the instrument. 